Please be advised that this video is for the sole purpose of entertainment. Any views of purely my own are subjective and may not necessarily be true. I do, however, do extensive research for all of my videos. All photos have been found on the public domain. I am using them under the Fair Use and Fair Dealing guidelines. I urge everybody to do their own research. Well, hello, it's Murky Meg here. It is Monday the 11th of November and it's come to light that somebody is lying. Now, you all remember when Meghan went over, flew over the Atlantic to go and watch Serena Williams in the final of the US Tennis Open. Yes, she was a bit of a jinx. Well, that's what we like to call her. But it was all over the media that she flew over and she left Archie at home. That is what Serena Williams actually said. So cast your mind back, I have done a video on this previously from September. It was also New York Fashion Week and after the tennis match, Serena Williams was talking at her own fashion event in an interview where she actually admitted that she doesn't know if she could have left her own daughter at home when she was at that age. But now it's seen that the media is all over this because Serena Williams confirmed that she didn't leave Archie. In fact, Archie was with her. What's going on? Serena confirmed that Meghan actually travelled with the then four-month-old Archie for a whirlwind trip in September. Meghan flew from Heathrow in London with her son on commercial flight that left around 9am and arrived in New York just after 12pm. But hang on, didn't she go to yoga in the morning? If she was not in New York that morning, how did she go to this so-called yoga? I'm now really confused. So I went and had a look at the things that I have screenshotted and my research, and it does say that the class and people confirmed that she was there on Friday. But Serena Williams is now saying that she flew over on that Saturday. But even still, if she flew on the Friday, it was Friday morning, and she took a 9 a.m. flight and she didn't get in till midday in New York, she still wouldn't have been able to do that on the Friday because the yoga class was in the morning. Yet people confirmed they saw her. So someone is lying and I'd like to know who. So which is it? Did she fly over without Archie or with Archie? Because there is a huge difference with those two stories and it's not adding up really and I'm getting quite frustrated. But then there is the issue where they snubbed visiting Balmoral because they said that Archie was too young to fly. Yet he'd already flown over to Ibiza and to visit his old pal Uncle Elton and now it seems that he flew to America too, but couldn't go all the way up to Scotland. I mean, it's a hell of a trip from London to Scotland. You know, it's far bigger than going to America. I jest, of course. But again, these lies keep being tripped up. So which is it? I personally believe that this is an attempt by Sunshine Sachs to try and boost the reputation by saying to Serena, go on, just say she took the baby. Go on, you know, it's easy. But what they forget is that we have screenshots and receipts of everything that has already been said. You can't say one thing and then say another thing. That's not how it works, I'm afraid. And I actually watched the interview where Serena said that Meghan left Archie behind and how a good friend she was for doing that. And she said that she couldn't do that herself when her daughter was that long. I saw it, but now I can't find it. It's gone. It's really bizarre. It's been wiped. And this is exactly what the problem is here. Things are being removed from the internet because they're wanting a new story out there. They're wanting to rewrite what's already been written. Unfortunately, that's not how things go because people like us that do YouTube channels, the people on Twitter, all my wonderful community, we are all absolutely 100% certain that things are not adding up and we want answers. Why is it being rewritten to suit a new narrative? And that is what I want to know. Do they really think we are this stupid that we don't remember a couple of months ago? And then we have the problem that on one hand we have Megan crying and bubbing on her documentary, sorry, their documentary, I forget. There are two people in this marriage, aren't there? Sometimes you do kind of just blur the waters. Anyway, She's crying on TV because she has to try that whole British stiff upper lip 
Then we have Serena saying that she's the strongest person that she knows. Again, two parallel stories. So the PR company is now changing the narrative and I want to know why. What do you all think? Do you think that she flew to New York without Archie? Or do you believe the new story that she took him with her? A four month old across the Atlantic for a couple of days and flew back. Which do you think is the viable story? And now I'm gonna talk about the Remembrance Weekend. Now on Saturday evening, they went to the British Legion's festival and yes everybody was in attendance and quite laughably they were stuck right in the back granted they are always seated with protocol for the line of succession i find it quite funny that they were way back in the cheap seats but that's the way it should be because of the line of succession i do find it quite funny that they were placed behind Prince Andrew and Boris Johnson. Slight bit of shade there. And maybe that's why Harry had a face like a slapped ass. I don't normally comment on what she wears and I don't particularly like to be nasty, but this is a remembrance service. Her top is far too low. You just don't show what you've got when you are trying to be respectful. It was the wrong choice. And she was just flaunting it she really was harry on the other hand looked downright miserable there are so many pictures of him scowling and just being he looks like a mardy teenager he really does come on man up man i don't think it's appropriate that as soon as the photos were released that megan's mirror had her outfit all over the internet about where you could buy it I just think that's a little bit tacky. And speaking of tacky, we have Stella McCartney who has put it out on Instagram that she was very, very proud of the fact that Meghan wore her coat on the balcony for Remembrance Sunday. And quite rightfully, she has been slaughtered for it. She boasted on Instagram and I just think it shows very little respect, to be quite honest. But as I said before, Meghan's mirror are doing it all the time. And I really don't know how they actually get away with it because, do you know what, they have the information so fast. I would love to know how they get all of that information very, very quickly. But unfortunately, we all hit with brick walls whenever we try and investigate. I'm gonna finish today on something that I found quite funny that one of my Twitter followers sent me. So thank you very, very much. You really made me chuckle. It's from a book from The Wisdom of Prince Philip. And it says, it was part of fortunes of war. We didn't have counsellors rushing around every time somebody let off a gun asking, are you all right? Are you sure you don't have a ghastly problem? You just get on with it. So there we have Meghan Markle. Take a leaf out of your grandfather-in-law's book and just get on with it and stop whining. As always, let me know what you think in the comments section. How do you feel about Serena Williams now completely doing a 180 and saying that Archie was in fact with her in New York? How do you feel that the articles have now changed and things have started to be deleted? Who do you think is behind this and why? And what did you think of the Remembrance Service Weekend's events? Do you think the outfit that she wore or the festival at the Royal Albert Hall was appropriate for the event or do you think it was just a little bit across the line and she should have reined it in a little bit more? And finally, should Stella McCartney be actively promoting the fact that Meghan wore her coat on the balcony? Is that right or is it wrong to actually benefit from using Remembrance Sunday as a marketing tool. And finally, don't we all love Prince Philip? He comes up with some blinders. Yes, he has some gaffes, but do you know what? He's a wise, wise man. As always, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, hit subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'd like to thank everyone who has donated to my channel. It's because of your kind generosity, which enables me to release worthy and interesting contents. So I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon.